Welcome back, and thank you for joining Bite Size DJ as we explore prioritizing your mental health. Pause. Before we get started, we wanted to give a little more info about this particular video. The goal for Bite Size DJ is to get discussions started on how to make spaces, such as the classroom, more inclusive for all identities. But there are challenges within these spaces as they currently exist, including microaggressions, misgendering, toxic perfectionism, and other issues that we have discussed and will discuss in the future. And we want to acknowledge the impact that having to endure these issues has on your mental health. So while we all continue to work hard to change things, we want to take space to include some tips on how to take time for your mental health. So let's dive in. The end of the semester brings a certain level of stress to everyone. Papers, tests, and final projects on top of keeping up with the end of the year wrap up for organizations can lead to heavy burnout and can impact your emotional well-being. Emotional well-being is thriving by managing stress, tending to one's needs, and navigating emotions both pleasant and unpleasant. There are many basic needs, everyday actions that help you maintain your emotional well-being, and a few extra steps. The first basic need is eating consistent and well-balanced meals. Be intentional about scheduling meal time for yourself or with friends. Second, take time to rest well. Sleeping is like turning your computer on and off. It gives the hard drive a chance to submit all the new things it's learned. A well-rested brain is always more alert and logical. Third, celebrate your success and practice positive thinking. Treat yourself with compassion every step of the way. Lastly, be sure to manage your expectations and create a personal definition of productive. Set up realistic daily tasks for yourself through task management systems like the Pomodoro Method or the Eisenhower Matrix. And if you got all those down, here are a few extra steps you can take to create stability for your mental health and thrive in any environment. Meditate. If you're thinking, I suck at meditation, try just starting with a few deep breaths. Count every breath and focus most on slowing your thoughts. Lap the library. Walk away from frustrating or anger-inducing assignments and go for a walk. If you don't have the time, then literally just take a loop around the library. But if you got the time, extended walks around the campus quad can be very refreshing. Add happiness to your to-do list. Similar to how you can block out meal times, you can begin to block out time for happiness. Hang with friends, grab a snack, or exercise. Make time for what brings you joy. Lastly, ask for help. Don't suffer in silence. When you're drowning, find a lifeguard to save you. Connecting with professors, friends, family, or therapists can be the difference between surviving and thriving. If you are a friend or lost about where to go for support services, Google your campus's website to locate available mental health and psychological resources, emergency hotlines, or academic accommodations.